Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see the various filter characteristics that can be used to judge the performance of filter. So let's begin with the talk. The procedure to design, analyze and judge the performance of filter is different from other circuit. In order to analyze the performance of filter, the various filter characteristics are required to be considered. In today's video, we are going to see the various filter characteristics that can be used to judge the performance of filter. So the first characteristics of filter is nothing but frequency response. So Let's understand the frequency response from the diagram itself. Frequency response is basically a graph between gain and phase versus frequency. The gain is always plot on y-axis whereas frequency is always plot on x-axis. For frequency, we are going to use a logarithmic scale because in case of filters, we are dealing with the frequency response. That means large number of frequency or large amount of frequency. So in order to accommodate large amount of frequency in a small space, we are going to consider logarithmic scale. So frequency in case of filter are always expressed in terms of logarithmic scale. So when we are plotting frequency response, it is very much important to consider frequency on x-axis in terms of log. Whereas gain is always plot on y-axis and it is in terms of dB. That means gain is nothing but ratio of output upon input. The output can be voltage, it can be power. If the gain is in terms of power, then in terms of dB, the value is equal to 10 log to the base 10 PO upon PI, where PO is output power, PI is input power. And in case of voltage, the formula becomes 20 log to the base 10 VO by V in where VO is output voltage, VN is input voltage. So based on which factors we are considering, depend upon that the gain is calculated and it is plotted on y-axis. So this is what about the frequency response characteristic of filter. Now let's move to the next characteristic that is nothing but 3 dB frequency. So the next characteristic is minus 3 dB frequency or F minus 3 dB. This is the frequency at which power delivered to the load reduces to 50% of its maximum value. The voltage gain at minus 3 dB frequency is 0 0.707 times maximum gain or we can say the voltage gain at minus 3 dB frequency is 70.7% of maximum gain. So when we are plotting a frequency response and when we need to calculate the bandwidth or pass band, then we always need to consider minus 3 dB frequency from the maximum gain. Now the next characteristics are nothing but pass band and stop band. Here we are going to consider the frequency response of low pass filter. Basically the low pass filter is nothing but a filter circuit which allows basically low pass filter passes frequency below cutoff frequency and it stop or attenuates the frequencies above cutoff frequency. Cutoff frequency is basically acts as a boundary between pass band and stop band. So the two important characteristics related to filter are nothing but pass band and stop band. Here we are considering frequency response of low pass filter. So this is ideal low pass filter frequency response and this is practical frequency response of low pass filter. So in case of ideal frequency response, as we know, frequency response is a graph between frequency and gain. So, pass band is nothing but a range of frequency that can be passed by the filter. That means we have a frequency called as FC, which is called as cutoff frequency. So, below cutoff frequency, whatever the frequencies are present are get passed to the output of filter. Whereas above FC, the filter will stop or it will attenuate the band of frequency. So pass band is a band of frequency which is allowed by filter to present at the output is called as pass band. Whereas stop band or attenuation band is a range of frequency which is stopped or attenuated by the filter to reach to the output. So in case of ideal response, we will get pass band and stop band in this format. But ideal response is not possible practically. So a practical response of low pass filter somehow looks like this, in which we are considering FC value, that means the cutoff frequency is at minus 3 dB frequency from maximum gain. 
Now in case of filter, due to the practical parameter, some ripple or some variation always present in passband also. So maximum gain having some ripple present in the passband. So from the maximum gain, minus 3 dB is considered and over there frequency FC is considered, which is called as cutoff frequency. So from 0 to FC, the filter will pass the frequency, which is called as passband, whereas after FC, the filter will stop the frequencies, which is called as stop band. So this is what about passband and stop band characteristics of filter. Now we moving towards the next characteristics of filter is roll off rate, and it is defined as the gain falls off rapidly in the stop band as shown in the figure. So if we consider the filter frequency response, then we will come to know that when gain starts increasing the response of the filter falls off rapidly that means the value of gain reduces increasingly so the rate at which gain falls is called as roll off rate the roll off rate is basically depend upon order of the filter as order get increase the roll off rate is also get increase so if we increase the order of filter by one then the roll off rate also increases by 20 db per decade the increasing roll off rate increases complexity of the filter circuit but at the same time it provides very sharp frequency response so if you have order is equal to 1 then we will have the roll off rate as 20 db per decade if we have order equals to 2 then roll off rate get increased by 20 db per decade and it becomes 40 db per decade similarly for order 3 and 4 the roll off rate is get increased by 20 db per decade so it becomes 60 or 80 db per decade so as we increase the order of filter roll off rate also get increased but that it will increase complexity but provides a very sharp frequency response now the next characteristic that we are going to see is nothing but order of the filter so order of the filter is basically for general purpose high pass and low pass filter the term poles and order will have the same meaning that means the number of pole is equal to the order of filter this is also called as roll off rate as just now we saw that roll off rate increases with increasing order of filter when we increase order by one then the roll off rate is get increased by 20 db per decade now in this case the relationship between roll off rate and number of pole is given by number is nothing but order of filter only so if number of pole is equals to 1 then order of filter is also equals to 1 and in that case roll off rate is equals to 20 db per decade if pole is increased by 1 then order of filter is also get increased by 1 and roll off rate is now get increased by 20 db per decade so for second order of filter we will have roll off rate as 40 db per decade so this is how the roll off rate and order of filter are related to each other so from this relationship we will come to know that if the order of filter is higher then the attenuation of higher frequency that means the attenuation of frequency present in the stop band is get higher but increasing order of filter also increases complexity and make the circuit more expensive as compared to the filter having less order of filter now the next parameter or next characteristics that we are going to consider is nothing but quality factor and bandwidth of filter quality factor is also called as q factor and it is defined as the ratio of energy stored to the energy dissipated in one cycle of operation the quality factor and bandwidth are interrelated to each other bandwidth is defined as the difference between the two cutoff frequency that is fh and fl when we reduce the frequency by 3 db then we will have the value of fc but if we consider the frequency response which is in this format then 3 db down frequency gives us three different values of frequency that is nothing but fc fh and fl the value of frequency which is at lower side that means below fc is considered as fl and the value of frequency which is above fc is considered as fh so bandwidth is basically the difference between the higher frequency and lower frequency now let's see the relationship between q factor and bandwidth now let's see the relationship between q factor and bandwidth 
so the relationship is given by q is equals to fc upon bandwidth so if you have higher value of q factor that means we will have lower value of bandwidth if the bandwidth is get increased the quality factor is get reduced so in order to obtain the bandwidth we always need to consider the frequency which is 3 db down the maximum frequency range or maximum gain so if the gain is one then it gives three different value fc fh and fl so difference between higher and lower frequency that means it will give us as the value of bandwidth so bandwidth is equals to fh minus fl the bandwidth is expressed in terms of hertz as it is calculated on x axis that is in terms of frequency so these are the certain characteristics of filters that can be used to analyze the performance of filter and used to design the filter of different orders so i hope you understand the topic of characteristics of filter which includes pass band stop band bandwidth q factor and frequency response so thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned to ikira subscribe ikira thank you